Today we're here at the Carolina Theater in Greensboro, North Carolina. This historic space was built in the 1920s and is still in use today. A new performance area is being created from a previously unused space and it requires a new subfloor to be poured. Shernox offers the best solution. Before pouring the new subfloor, we have prepared the existing subfloor by making sure that it is cleaned of dust, loose concrete, and other foreign matter. Sealing the old subfloor with a primer is critical to a successful pour, and today we are using Shernox VD, which is a universal acrylic-based primer that can be diluted to conform to the absorbency of the substrate to which it will be applied. VD dries in 10 to 30 minutes depending on site conditions. Like all Shernox primers, VD has low VOCs, which makes it the right choice for this or any project. The existing subfloor has a lot of height variation and deterioration in the original concrete surface. We will be using Shernox AP, which is a synthetic gypsum-based self-leveling compound. We've come in today to address some substrate issues in uh, an event area. We're going to renovate this space. We've chosen our AP product. Uh, because it's formulated to go over these kind of critical substrates that may have contaminants in it. One of the first things we're going to do before we start a self-leveling project is we're going to set our gauge rake. I preset this gauge rake at three-eighths of an inch. It's going to determine our depth as we spread our material in the leveling compound across the floor. AP sets up at 5400 PSI compressive strength. This makes it the right product to address the issues we find in this project. And here's the finished subfloor. It's dry and ready to accept the new flooring product. We invite you to use Shernox products for your next renovation project and see how Shernox can take you from here to there.